We are Sorted, a group of mates who have your back when it comes to all things food. From cooking battles to gadget reviews and, it's not worth it. and cookbook challenges to a midweek meal packed app. Crack your eggs and bake. We uncover the tools that'll help us all cook and eat smarter. Join our community where everything we do starts with you. A few weeks ago, James was on his own in the studio testing some kitchen gadgets. This time we're gonna flip it around. I've been left a bunch of kitchen gadgets to test and pass judgment on. And talking of passing judgment, Judgmental James is with us. Hello. Hello, sir. I'm not sure I appreciate that nickname. I am excited to see what is in these boxes. I'm here, Mike is at a relatively safe distance over there, and I've got a cloche. Turn around. What could it be? Uh, push and tear, easy tear, kitchen roll holder, push to lock roll. This is for those times when you've got two dirty sticky hands and you don't want to touch the kitchen roll with one of those sticky hands and dirty the kitchen roll. All you have to do is press the top down, rip off a sheet, done. Straight off, this is one of those things that I never thought needed solving until I see this and go, it is quite annoying. Shall we test it? I think we should. And the way we're going to test this is give you one of your favorite snacks, hot wings. Hot wings, lovely. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I'm going to load it. Oh. Oh, effortless. Delicious. Mm hmm. And because we care about you, Ebbers, we've actually prepared the sticky wings recipe mm. from the Sorted Food website for you. I hope it's delicious. It is. If anybody it else is. wants to make them, the link will be below. Uh oh. Oh no, so messy. So what I need, and this one we've had in the studio for ages, is a sheet of kitchen roll, like that. Oh, you did it, oh. Don't know if it's a problem that needs fixing. Uh, do you think you're particularly skilled at the one hand down I with think pug? I am particularly skilled at kitchen roll tearage. Tough job, this. You're going in for more, which means um, Mike didn't make them hot enough. This time, to stop it unraveling, first it will unravel, and then elbow, tear. Oh, nice. It's crisp. My question is whether you need it, because it actually tears without trapping it. You know I love something that does what it says it does. You can't fault it for doing that. It's got its non-stick base, so it doesn't slide. It's got a slightly raised rim. It holds a big roll, um, and it absolutely does. Stop it. Unraveling. Sometimes this unravels a little bit when we talk about price. I reckon you could spend 12 quid on a half decent, and you can definitely buy them cheaper, and I reckon this is probably 50% more at 18. Ben, you're gonna be a very happy man. This is currently 12 pounds 80. An own brand one is about 10 pounds. It's such a one-off purchase, you might as well spend the extra two quid, surely. Like you say, yours has lasted 10 years. Would I pay an extra 20p per year for this? Ben, is this gadget fair, or is it not worth the tear? It works, it looks cool, it's not a lot more than a regular one. I agree, it, this one was gonna be all about price, wasn't it? If it's the same price, go for it. Why not? Give us a spin. Oh yeah. And open the cloche. There you go, you know the drill. This could be the game changer of the video. Great things often come in small packages, it's true. Oh no, we've done similar of these before. Oh, but Ben, this one is different. This is the Macum Just Kitchen 860 Mescalix Electric Mixer. And it's a universal cordless stirrer. Not necessarily a mixer, but a stirrer. It's gonna stir something. And we've got one of your favorite things, again, to test. It's a risotto. Yeah, which is exactly what it says in the box. So all the instructions are in Italian and they're using risotto as the case example on the box from Italy. So it, I'm, now I'm holding more hope. Woo! Oh, oh, Ooh. oh. So it is adjustable to the size of your pan. So far I'm quite impressed with this. This is gonna keep it in the center of the pan. Uh, it kind of curves at the corner there. So it does fit in the side of the pan. Then that clips on like so. Not bad. 
and a splash guard. Shall we test it? We've given you all the ingredients to make a risotto from our midweek packs app. So you have a lovely follow along audio guide. Make a risotto. Right, first things first. Preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit, then tip 250 grams of tomatoes and four whole unpeeled garlic cloves onto a baking tray. Got Jamie in the kitchen with me today. Start the timer. Pour 1.2 litres of water into a measuring jug along with a crumbled vegetable stock cube. Give it a good stir to dissolve everything and leave it within easy reach of your hob. Put a small saucepan over a medium high heat, then plonk in two tablespoons of butter. When it's foaming, add in 200 grams of arborio rice and stir it to coat every grain thoroughly. Another moment of truth, James. It is indeed stirring. There's a volume of rice in there that means what is being stirred is flipping over the paddle, as you'd expect and want. It's not particularly quick. I think if I was doing this by hand at this point, I would probably have already done it but the point is I'm not doing anything I've got my hands in my pockets and also it's gonna it's gonna do all the stirring for you I think that's important like during the 30 minutes the thing with the risotto is it's kind of therapeutic and the stirring is the bit that I quite like doing that said I don't do it continually for 20 minutes so this is just one of the recipes from our pax app which has been built with loads of input from you guys and is designed to take the stress out of midweek cooking save you some money reduce food waste on fresh items, all whilst giving you inspiring dishes to taste from around the world. It's just one of the tools as part of the Sorted Club, which you can now sign up to for free, so you can go and give it a go and decide if it's for you. When your vegetables are ready, grab your cooked cloves of garlic, peel and mash them with a fork to make a paste, and add this and the tomatoes to the risotto. I hope it deals okay with the tomatoes. Well, do you know what, James? It has got a gentle touch. It's not smashing them to pieces. It's just kind of caressing them around the pan. But it is super creamy from constant stirring. Sounds good. I mean, I haven't seen inside yet, but I'm going to judge it from what goes onto the plate. So the only thing I would say, and it's both positive and negative, is it stirs very carefully, consistently and slowly. So having now added in the basil, at that speed, it will take two minutes to actually distribute evenly, probably. Right, I'm going to turn it off. And this is the moment of truth. What have we got at the bottom of this pan? I'll tell you what, James. It is the same on the bottom as it is on the top. We found one that works. Do the shake test. That's looking good. Yeah. Just runs down a little bit. A little bit more fresh basil. Looks fresh. It looks nice. It, it looks and tastes good, and it's got a creamy consistency to it. It worked. It did work. This bit comes apart, and that's the only thing that needs washing up. No dissimilar to if you're washing up a spoon. Is it coming out at the next dinner party? I regret turning my nose up at this the moment I took the bubble wrap off. And I think it bought me 15 minutes more time. It is looking good for this gadget. Subject to cost. Yeah, well, let's talk about cost. Let's say it lasts two years, and in my repertoire, I have a different flavoured risotto once a fortnight. If it was 50 quid, I'd have one. Really? Ben, I can't believe I'm about to say this. It's £28.92. pence. You have got yourself a bargain, and this is chef approved. Does this cause a stir, or are the benefits a blur? This has caused a stir. Um, I've taken this one home. He's taking it home, it's in his pocket. Right. Turn around. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, beer tap. It's a beer tap. Another one of these ultrasound wave things that turns natural carbonation of beer into micro foam that enriches the aroma, texture, and flavor. Ben, this is the Innova Goods beer tap. We are still unable to go to the pub, which is sad for both of us. So bring the pub to your home this is another one of those things that creates the perfect head on your beer. This is going to be fun. I don't want to give you any help with this. On the box, it looks very premium. It looks very cool. It looks like the kind of thing you'd want in the corner of your, your flat when you've got mates over. Nice. 
Now it's got adapters for multiple sizes of cans. Place the correct adapter in the base and make sure that the desired measurement coincides with the arrow of the base. Again, the problem we're trying to solve is a beer that you can't get a decent head on at home. It's those like micro bubbles that I think they're looking for, isn't it? So it has definitely, straight from a can with a simple pour, provided some sort of head. I think the head disappears quite quickly. Push the beer tap towards you to produce beer and push it away from you to produce foam. Right, Ben, I'm not, I feel like that might have been user error, no? I went a bit quick with the foam, maybe. Absolutely no denying that sonic waves give beer foam. Does it make the drinking experience better? Well, unlike previous tests, we've got the head at the top of the glass, which means that first sip you get drinking through the head and the foam. It puts more of the aromas and the taste of the hoppiness into the foam which gets trapped and you drink through and it's, we know that so much of flavour is aroma. So I know the theory and I know it should work. Does it? I'm not convinced. But the texture's better. How much would you pay for it? If it was 25 quid, I think it would make uh, a party a bit of fun once. It's £48.99. pence. At that price, I struggle to justify it. So Ben, would you tap this up or would you rather tap out? That's quite good for you, James. I probably will tap out on this one at the price, despite it being a novelty thing, and I love a novelty. Turn around, lift the clash. Ta-da! A Smart Toaster. It is, in fact, the Sage Smart Toast Two Slice Toaster. You won't burn your toast again with the stylish Smart Toast Two Slice from Sage. This impressive device will make you a whiz at toasting anything from crumpets through to fruit loaf. It's full of different functions, so you'll be able to defrost, toast, and even cook your bread for just a little bit more. I mean, it's a toaster, James. You seem underwhelmed, and I'm not sure why. How smart does a toaster need to be? The first function that they actually talk about is a bit more. If your toast comes up lighter than you'd prefer, just one simple touch is all it takes for a little extra toast time. Evers, I am treating you well today. Uh, you've got some delicious homemade bread that I dropped off at the studio yesterday. Crumpets, blueberry compote, because we know you're above strawberry and raspberry. That's a bit boring. And some butter, of course. It's got a good tactile slide. Let's start with crumpets. Which way did you put them in? Oh, <laughs> it does say in block capitals on the top. Crumpets face inwards. To select the crumpet setting, press the crumpet fruit loaf button once and the button will illuminate white. And now I imagine I push the toast button. Whoa! <laughs> that was so unnecessarily brilliant. <laughs> have, have a little look at them and see if they're done. Well, they're not done yet, but I could have a quick look. Not quite there, but it's given me a little peek and it's gone back down. <laughs> that is, wow. To have a quick look with a normal toaster, you have to reset it all. Now I wonder if I cancel this. It's a good toast. It's a good crispy toast. It's a very powerful toaster. A little over for me. I don't know what the crumpet setting does. Okay. Oh, does it fit? Well. I mean... Bye. It's quite, it's quite satisfying. It's still very good. The fact that you put the crumpet facing inwards tells me that middle bit is hotter than the other bits, which is where it's given the crumpet top a crispier finish. It, oh, here it comes, James. Whoa, that was quick. Do you know what, James? Needs a bit more. So I can't believe again that we're having a, an in-depth conversation about toasters. That's looking good. Happy with that, James? Yeah, that looks decent. I've never considered the previous toast model to be an issue. The only thing that I've ever had a problem with toasters, and it drives me mad, is how useless and pathetic the crumb trays are. Would you like to hazard a guess as to how much it is? I can't believe I'm saying this. For a two slice toaster, 65 quid. 
Ben, this is 116 pounds and 99 pence. It's like a mattress. They're always more expensive than you think. Is this the toastess of the mostess or is it just not worth getting burnt? Oh, I don't know, it's good. It's expensive. Would I? No. Did it put a smile on my face the first time I used it? Yes. I think, I think probably not for me. Thanks mate, that was fun. Good batch. Four kitchen gadgets that all do what they say on the tin, actually deliver and solve a problem. The question is whether the problem needed solving. Well, you've heard what we think, but now comment down below, tell us what you think. Rank the four gadgets, one to four, and comment why. If you'd like to sign up to PAX for free and give it a try, along with all the other apps and podcasts in the Sorted Club, then head to sorted.club forward slash try PAX for free. The link is also in the description. And as always, we'd really love to hear your thoughts. And now for a blooper. This has been designed for those moments when you've got two dirty, sticky hands and you have to touch the toilet roll. Toilet roll? <laughs> Why have you got dirty? Why have you got two dirty hands when you need to grab toilet roll, James? It's kind of what the toilet roll's for. Oh no! <laughs> right, I'll get that.